2 Timothy chapter 1 verses 1 through 5, the first five verses, Paul is speaking about the end times. He says, Timothy, in the last days, perilous times, troublesome times will come. Things are going to be really bad. And then he begins to talk about or describe the nature of people in the last days. There are going to be all these kinds of people. But what is interesting is in verse 5, he also includes some good people. He says in verse 5, you'll also have people who have a form of godliness. They have a form of religion. They have a form of religion, a form of godliness, a form of piety. But they deny the power. From such turn away. I mean, this is pretty strong. Verses 6 and 7 talks about sneaky men and gullible women. Such men, what do they do? They are drawn to these gullible women who are loaded with sins. So you've got new revelation, new teaching, new something from the Bible or whatever. They want to listen. But they are always learning but never coming to the truth. These men in the last days not only will they be sneaking upon gullible women with the latest truth and so on, but you know what? Just like Janus and Jambres resisted Moses, these men will also resist the truth. These magicians of Egypt did not oppose Moses with their theology, but they opposed Moses with their enchantments, with their sorceries, with their contact with unseen dark forces. That's how they fought back. Meaning to tell us that in these days, there will be people who oppose the truth, but their inspiration, their source is demonic. It's from the devil. And that's the kind of opposition that will come against the church. What's the lesson for the New Testament church? That in the last days, if you and I are going to stand firm, if you and I are going to make a difference in the world in which we live, if you and I are going to be able to stand up against the kinds of men who will rise up in this day and hour, we need to press on to more and more and more of the power of the Holy Spirit. Verse 9, they will progress no further, meaning they're going to hit a ceiling. They're going to hit a limit with what they can do with their enchantments and sorceries and ma magic. What they can do being empowered through demonic source. And their foolishness will be manifest. I mean, they will be exposed. He says, Timothy, you were right beside me. For these 18 years you traveled with me. You have carefully observed. You've had the opportunity to see, to listen to my teaching. And to observe my manner of life. So he says, look, Timothy, this is what's going to happen. Things are going to get even more tough. As time progresses, evil men and men who are empowered by demonic source, demonic power, they will only increase. They themselves will be deceived and they will deceive others. So Timothy, continue in the things that you've learned. I think two important things as a reasoning. Over there, Paul says, knowing from whom you have learned them. Timothy, remember your time with me. Remember your grandmother Lois, your mother Eunice. All these people have put stuff into you. Continue in the things that you have learned. Your message is credible because you are credible. So Timothy... Know from whom you've learned. Secondly, know from where you've learned these things. It's from the Holy Scriptures. And then he says, if you continue the word, what, will the, what is the word useful for? And what will it accomplish in you and me? He says, the Scriptures, they are useful for doctrine, which is for teaching or learning. They're useful for reproof, which is to give you evidence or conviction. They're useful for correction, straightening us out. They're useful for instruction to nurture us, train us. And if we submit ourselves to the Holy Scriptures, what will happen? It will make us perfect and equipped for every good work. The Word of God. 